Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for joining me today for this special painting tutorial. I wanna say, first of all, thank you so much to each and every one of you who sent me well wishes and um, who were thinking about me while I've been sick. I've been under the weather for the past few weeks. I'm starting to feel more myself. I'm so grateful for that. I'm getting my energy back and I thought I would come into the studio and start filming a painting tutorial just for you guys. I know you're going to love this and no matter what level of a painter you are, if you're just beginning, this one's for you. If you're an intermediate painting, this one's also for you. So you can take this a little bit more detailed if you want or keep it more on the loose side and abstract. So I can't wait to show you guys how to paint this, but I'm going to go over the colors now and the canvas. Okay, so I've got a 16 by 20 double primed and stretched canvas. I pre-painted it gray. I applied two coats of this Americana Slate Gray. You wanna make sure that you apply it evenly. Check for any little bumps or bumps. If it's a little bit lumpy or feels scratchy, you might just wanna give it a really light sanding. The smoother the surface, uh, the better the paint will go on and you'll be able to blend better with your acrylics. Okay, and I've also got Titanium White. This is by Liquitex Basics Acrylic. And the next two colors are also by Liquitex Basics Acrylic. I've got black and bright aqua green turquoise. Got three colors here that I'm gonna be using. Our base coat is gray and we're ready to begin this painting. Then I'm gonna be using a larger brush to start. I'm gonna be working on the sky and applying some clouds and a little bit of streaky um, turquoise up top. And then we're gonna be working with smaller brushes. I'll go over all of the brushes, the sizes, the names of the brushes I'm using throughout this video. And you can also check out the list below this video in the description box. Okay, everybody, so the first brush I'm going to be using is my number 50 filbert brush, and I'm just going to get it a little bit wet, and then I'm going to take a little bit of white and black and make a few streaks across the sky. After that, I'm going to come in and start applying a little bit of the turquoise for some color. Okay, so just a little bit of white, a little bit of black. And I'm just going to on an angle like this, just sweep and then light little scoops, just a few little ones up here. And then the next color, without washing my brush off, I'm just going to take some of the turquoise pull, load both sides evenly. And then I'm just gonna come in and just add a little bit of color here, partially over the gray and the white that I added. Just a little bit more right up here at the top. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush, making sure it's not dripping. I just want to loosen that paint up enough so that I can blend it out of my brush and across the canvas easier. Okay, load up more of my turquoise and I'm going to start bringing it down here along the bottom. So I'll find my halfway mark. Find the middle of your canvas and then go down a little bit from there and just with your brush like this full width of the brush softly back and forth load your brush up some more you want it to be kind of streaky like so it looks a little bit more like water so you can start if you want it to look a little bit more streaky you can turn your brush this way as well and just pull lines It's up to you how much color you want to add to your painting. You may want to have a little bit more turquoise in yours, and that's fine. It's whatever you prefer. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush out. The next brush I'm going to be using is a number 10 flat brush. I'm going to be using this to create my abstract buildings and skyscrapers. It's got a nice straight 
edge to it. All the edges are, are flat and straight. So that's gonna really help us block in all those buildings. And then we'll start adding some lights to those buildings, some shadows, and a really, really simple and easy uh, process. So I'm gonna get my brush a little bit wet and I'm gonna pick up some black first. So a little bit of water, a little bit of black, and just simply pull different heights. And I like that it's not completely solid either because that also looks like little windows in those buildings already. So we're just gonna add different sizes. Some of them can be a little bit wider. And feel free to use a smaller or larger flat brush if you want. So it's something you just really don't have to think too much about. Just overlap all the way to the far end, far right side, and so on and so forth. Okay, the next color I'm gonna take is white and I haven't washed my brush out. I have a little bit of black left in there with some water. You can wait for this layer to dry first or you can apply uh, wet paint on top of the wet paint. So um, either way will work. You might get a little bit of a different um, look to it. <clears throat> but no matter how you apply it, dry paint, or wet paint, it's gonna look great. So I'm just gonna start, just tap, 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 tap like this. And then a little gentle pull. And this way we get different looks to our building. All these buildings back here. You can even turn your brush this way. Tap, tap, tap. This will just look like all those lights in the windows in the buildings from far away. And it's such an easy way, easy process technique for an abstract painting. And of course you can also add a little light, gentle pressure and pull right over some of these buildings and right down along with a little tapping here and there Okay, and the next thing I'm gonna do is bring in a little bit more of the black now. So we get a little bit more of a striking look to the edges of these buildings. And just simply going on one side, just loading my brush like this, just adding it black right on the very edge. And you can add those little dabs and taps like this as well. Just creating these little grids. And we'll add a little line right on the top of this one. And then I'm gonna go on top of that, pull and make it narrower like that. Just to make a few of the tops of the buildings 
have a little bit more character and shape to them. And just continuing along here, adding little dabs and lines in and around the buildings and the white that we added. This is gonna set off those bright lights even more. And I mean, just look how little we've done with a flat brush here in such a loose way. You don't need skill, you don't need talent to do this. If you can just dab, dab, dab with a brush, pull some lines in, you can all create this as well. And it's only going to get better as we add more. We're going to build up the depth and create a dramatic cityscape one brush stroke at a time. I'm going to take some more black now. And what I'm going to do is start a little bit lower on this left side. So I'm going to come down here an inch or so and then start to pull. I'm gonna pull down a little bit here for some shadows in the water and reflections. And then I'm gonna pull this black all the way across and then it's gonna get narrower and narrower now the way it'll get narrower is letting off on that pressure and just barely touching that canvas and lightly dragging. Okay, so it gets a little wider and wider and wider as we get further over here to the left side. Now what this black will do is help separate the land from the water and it's also going to help set off all the little dabs of white lights that could be anything in the city, right? Street lights, lamp posts, buildings, stores, any of that. So we're going to have this nice dark black for that contrast, setting off those bright white lights. And it's important that you don't miss this step because this is really a big part of the painting. I'm going to rinse my brush off. Um, and I'm going to go back over to the black with a little bit of water in my brush. So I'm gonna thin that black paint out with a bit of water, making it transparent. And I'm gonna go ahead and start adding a few little pulls and flicks here underneath before we add our highlights. So this is the same technique we would do if we were working on like a forest landscape or one with mountains in the water. Um, you have this kind of reflective look and all it is is just gently pulling off and flicking down. It's another really simple, basic technique that anybody can do and it gives you fantastic results. Now, not only am I going to pull and flick down like this, I'm going to go across right about here. We'll start and adding some ripples and shadows in the water. Nothing fancy here, you guys. Keep it simple, don't overcomplicate it. Just a few little lines horizontally and vertically. And by the end of this video and this painting, you will have created your very own dramatic cityscape. And I'm really excited for you. I love helping all of you to unlock your creativity and develop your art skills. 
painting has made me so happy over the years. Well, my lifetime, really, I've been creating my whole life just about since I was three, my mom says. And um, I can't imagine not ever being able to paint again. So it's something that you can't really explain to somebody else until they pick up a brush and make their first painting. You'll never look back. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit more black here. I want you guys to see how I'm loading my brush for this. Just pulling and kind of cutting in so I have a ridge of paint on the very end of my brush. This will give me a few lines that are a little darker and create a little bit more depth. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. For the next um, step, I'm gonna just use the same brush, but I'm gonna use the corner of it. And I'm gonna dip into my acrylic. Now I've, I am using heavy bodied acrylic, so that's why it looks so thick like this, but you can use any um, type of paint that you want. I just happen to be using acrylic and a heavy bodied one, but there's lots of alternatives out there. Okay, so a little blob on the corner of my brush like this. And I'm going to start coming in and building up little dabs or some lights, like I mentioned earlier, which could be anything. You imagine what there is in the city, lampposts, street signs, street lights. Obviously from the buildings and this is also another really easy technique. All you're doing is just adding little dabs. I'm just steadying my hand by placing my pinky on the canvas where I know it's dry, of course. You wanna make sure that it's dry so you're not putting your finger in wet paint. And just dabbing and dabbing. And you can go up some of the buildings this way as well if you wanna have a few of them really, really stand out. And look, I just think it's so cool how with just really simple blobs, dabs, lines, we can create something that has so much life to it. I know that you guys are going to really enjoy this one. And I've been wanting to do this for a while. As I mentioned before at the beginning, the intro of this video, I did a smaller, much, much smaller uh, painting similar to this instead of my mini cityscapes my mini paintings uh, so I've got a whole playlist there's not actually a lot on that playlist because I'd rather paint um, larger on larger canvases but if you guys um, enjoy cityscapes I've got quite a few there some are really really colorful and some are just in black and white and of course there's this one and that one is actually painted on acrylic um, canvas paper, but you can paint it on any surface you want. Really, there's lots of different surfaces out there. And I'll just chat as I'm adding these little dots and dabs for the lights. Um, yeah, you can, you can paint on um, artist board. You could paint a mural on your wall. This would be a great, great, um, eye-catching mural somewhere in your living room or your dining room. And I'm just going to dab, dab, dab. Oh, this is fun. Every time I'm having fun with a painting. I always want to do a whole series of them. So this might start um, me doing another um, series of cityscapes. Let me guys, let me know you guys uh, in the comment section below if you enjoy these types of tutorials and paintings because um, I I would absolutely love to be bringing more sort of abstract tutorials for you guys, but I've got a lot on my channel to choose from. 
um, for types of painting. You guys know you've been been following me for the past four years, depending on your watch when you're watching this. It's been four years and eight hundred. I think this is eight hundred and three videos now. I've got on my channel. Can you believe it? You can tell I love to paint. <laughs> Um, I've got so many different styles for you guys to choose from because I am very versatile and I like to experiment and paint different um, things and approach paintings differently. So I've got what I'm really, really known for are my um, intuitive fantasy paintings. And if you ever kind of just have like an artist block and you don't know what you want to paint, um, you can learn a lot throughout those videos because I talk about my process and what I do when I don't have any idea of what I want to paint. Um, anyhow, back to this. <laughs> I thought I would just chat a little bit as I was uh, repeating the process, which is just dabbing bits of white here and there. Now I'm going to add the reflection in the water. So this is also a, one of my favorite um, parts of these paintings, bringing that life to the water and just making the whole painting pop off the canvas. So right below this white, I'm going to just line my brush up with a bit of white paint and just gently pull, pull and flick same way that we did with the black. Remember, same technique, same brush, different color. That's all. Don't want to cover up all of the beautiful turquoise. Turquoise is one of my favorite colors, and I think it looks just amazing with within a limited palette like this. And a lot of people like turquoise as well. So um, these videos, when I'm using like just turquoise, black and white or gray, tend to be some of my most popular ones. So I think that you guys are, you must be like me and <laughs> enjoy turquoise as well. I've got so much turquoise in my house. Actually, my walls um, are all a very light, light turquoise. Lots of white, gray in my house with my colorful artwork as well. Okay, so we've got our reflections in the water. Some beautiful highlights here. Let's just kind of across skim across the water here just swoosh back and forth with a little bit of that white then with a little bit of black wiggle that brush out I haven't washed it you can if you want you don't really need to though I'm just gonna come right out here and just pull a few little lines like that Now what I do want to do is add a little bit more depth in the sky now that that turquoise and a little bit of that light, light gray white that I added has dried. And I'm going to be, I'm going to just continue using this brush and I'm going to make a darker shade of gray, tint it with some of that turquoise. And I'm going to start at the top here and crisscross scoop. Okay, I'll slow it down so you guys can see. Take a little bit more turquoise. So it gently, gradually blends into each other. And then Mix up a little bit more, extra black this time. Add a little bit of white and turquoise to that just to bring that up a few shades. I'm gonna bring it over here, scoop. A 
wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Scoop. Rinse my brush out quickly. Soften. So I've got nothing on my brush. It's just a little bit wet from rinsing it out. And that little bit of water in the bristles of my brush is what's helping me blend this. Now it's important that you're blending, you're doing this while the paint is still wet. Otherwise, right, you're not gonna be able to. Because acrylic paint dries awfully fast. And I know that you guys have a bit of trouble with that. There's lots of things you can do. I turn the heat off in my studio when I'm painting because the fan, the heat, speeds up the drying time of your acrylics. And that can be really frustrating. Now, if you're still having trouble keeping up with your acrylics, you can add a slow drying medium to them. I'm just gonna add a little bit more white within this black and turquoise. Oh, that's pretty, just a little frosty minty color there. Rinsing my brush out again. Soften, soften. I always like to create these sweeps and swoops in my skies. I think it adds a lot. Just helps to create a mood within the paintings. Add a little bit more turquoise there. Okay, it's almost time to start coming in with uh, the main focal point of this painting, which of course is the bridge. And I don't want you guys to be afraid, okay? I'm just gonna give you a little bit of coaching right now, um, motivation. You guys can definitely do this. If you've done this already, and this was super easy, just you know, using little uh, pulls and flicks and dots and dabs, it's no different with a bridge, okay? So I want you guys to believe in yourself. You can do this, follow along one line, one brush stroke at a time. Forget the fact that you're painting a bridge, okay? Just concentrate on only one brush stroke at a time with me. So we're doing this all together. You at home, you can do this. Um, and I'm there cheering you on, patting you on the back. And we're gonna go ahead and get started now. I'm gonna continue using this number 10 flat brush. And I'm going to start with black first. Now, the left side of the bridge is closer to us and it's going to come up higher than the rest of the bridge. The rest of the bridge is going to start to slope down and that's how we're going to create the perspective of this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start, we're going to start the main part of the bridge about two inches down from the top. Just simply going to add a line like this, that's about one and a half to two inches wide. Okay, and then we're gonna come down. Pull straight down. Fill that in. Up and down, just to paint that in. To make it a little bit wider. I'm going to take a little bit of white and turquoise and I'm going to go over this part. And we're going to leave a quarter of the end of it, the right side of it, is going to be straight black. So again, just a light little pull, turquoise and white, all the way down here. And then straight black on the end. Okay, we're gonna start the next one. This one's just gonna be straight black and it's going to come down right here 
and it's going to be shorter, of course, than this one. And we'll just go over in black. And then I'm going to just gently pull and flick down for that reflection in the water. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to go over just the base here first. And then pull and drop. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to wiggle out my brush to make sure it's nice and flat, cut into that black, and we're going to add the road, the bridge, all the way. We're going to start it right here, and it's going to go all the way down and off the canvas, right about there. So let's just go for it. Pull, 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 pull. And there we go. See? Have, try to have fun with it, guys. We're just adding lines. Some sweep down a little bit. Some are straighter than others. This one goes down gradually. And then kind of just veers off. Now we're going to come underneath and make this one a little thicker and then have it gradually ease off on the pressure so it looks narrower as it goes further over to the right side. How are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying this tutorial. I know I am. I'm having a blast right now. I'm so excited to be back in my studio. I mentioned earlier that I've been a little sick. And it's great to finally be getting my energy back. So what I want to do right now is take the corner of my brush again with a little bit of white. Maybe I'll add a little bit of turquoise in there too. Okay, so you see I've got a little dab of turquoise, a little bit of that white, and what I'm going to do is just kind of tap and dab. Maybe there's a little bit of lights in and around this bridge. I'm not trying to make anything evenly spaced, just really mindlessly tapping and dabbing. And then I'm gonna add very little pressure a little sweep along with those dabs. I rinse my brush out. And I'm just going to sweep clean that up. Add a few more ripples 
in the water. And the next thing I'm going to do is add the lights, the suspension. I'm not really sure what they're called, but they have all the, the lights on them. So I'm going to continue using this brush. You can use a round brush or a filbert brush even if you want. This one has a lot of give to it, right? So I can, uh, it's a synthetic brush and it, it's very uh, soft and I can create those little scoops with it easily. So I'm going to start on this side and we're just going to go from the corner up here and swoop down, okay? Sweep. And then what we're going to do is add two, two lines that scoop down here and they're going to touch the road or the bridge, the road on the bridge. <laughs> So I'm going to start one, the first one, a little lower here, and I'm going to come down and then add this one down. And because they meet down in the same spot, they kind of get balanced and kind of join up. It looks like they join up in that spot there. Okay, and then I'm going to come from here, this point of this one, scoop down and scoop down. Easy, right? And then from here all the way down to here, scoop and sweep. And another one, scoop and sweep. And there we go. Now, just before we start adding the dabs, the white dabs, I'm gonna just take a little bit more black paint and I'm just gonna sweep right off the end there. I'm gonna add a little bit more black over on this side. And I'll just check it, see, make sure I've got enough black and it's all balanced out. Now I'm going to be using one of my uh, round brushes. This one here, this little round brush, this is from, this is a prototype from my own line of paint brushes. Um, so those are going to be coming out later this spring of 2023. I'll have a live launch here on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel. It's free, of course, and you tap the bell so you get notice, notified and you don't miss out on that launch. Okay, so I'm going to just use a dry little round brush you can use one a little smaller or even a little bigger than this if you like and just take a little ball of titanium white on the end and we're just going to use this to add our lights so I'm going to start at the top dab dab so you want to Take a little bit of time to space these out. Because it is an abstract, you don't have to make it perfectly even, but it will tend to look nicer if you do. Dab, dab, dab.
good. We're just gonna dab, dab, dab right down in here, across the bridge. And then this one is going to start over here. Wasn't visible before, right? Because we were painting black on black. We'll add a little bit more light here and there. And then remember as things get farther away, like this part over here, they're going to appear smaller, so closer together. Dab, dab, dab. Lots of dabs, lots of lines, pulls and flicks is what really makes this a beginner friendly painting tutorial for all skill levels. I'm just going to gently push down and flatten some of the peaks that are left here from applying that paint. And go back and add a few more little lines, dots and dabs wherever you want. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. This is one of my personal favorites and recommendations for all of you beginners out there. See, I'm having so much fun, I can't even stop. <laughs> is all done and I had so much fun. I'm really happy I got to share this one with you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below this video. Leave a question or comment if you have one. I'm always happy to read your comments and don't forget to tag me in your posts on social media. I can't wait to see your awesome paintings. Take care everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I've got over 800 videos here on my channel. See you soon in my next video. Bye!